Seeking effective ways to foster learning of gameplay and improving players' game performance is a constant challenge for a coach. Terry Fowler, head coach of the South Alabama women's basketball team, tries to meet this challenge by using a game's approach to coaching basketball. Coach Fowler and the South Alabama women's basketball team have provided us with actual practice footage of them using a game's approach to coaching basketball. These examples demonstrate some different ways to start and play five on five and a breakdown to two on two and three on three. Also, a typical way of marrying five on zero oh with five on five is to play five on zero oh to five on five with the same team on offense for both trips. Coach Fowler demonstrates this drill with a great twist as the offense plays five on four on the way back so that they have to hunt the advantage in transition. In a game's approach, players develop an understanding of the game and identify the technical and tactical skills required. If necessary, the coach may intervene to assist players with technical skills or discuss tactical aspects. Players practice the skills and conditions that relate to the game. Players like to play more than they like to practice. Practice, however, is necessary to player and team development. No matter what you do as a coach, a certain amount of practice is tedious and boring to a player. This is because practice involves focused repetitions of skills and decisions, and repetition is often boring. Coach Fowler's goal as a coach is, as much as possible, to increase the amount of enjoyment and engagement for one of his players in practice. The best way he has found to accomplish this is to replicate the game that a player likes to play as much as possible in practice. Why is a game's approach effective? Basketball puts a player in countless decision-making situations. Success in a basketball game is complex. Making things even more difficult is that basketball is played under relatively unpredictable conditions. Each player must apply both skill and decisions in their execution of offensive and defensive tactics. To do so, players need to be exposed to real-life situations and training to reproduce game-like movement solutions. In other words, practice should be as specific to reality as possible. We can do this best using a game's approach to coaching basketball. The goal is to maximize the transfer of skills and decisions to competition. The game's approach emphasizes first learning what to do, then how to do it. Or more simply, teaching and learning the game while playing the game. Practicing basketball without defense may provide some benefits to initial learning and timing of sequences. But the practice is mostly superficial because it is removed from the context of the game applications. Removing decision making from a drill or skill work removes the distracting information and visual cues that are present in a game. A game's approach has a more holistic relationship with skill and tactical learning as the learning is always anchored to the game because a game is always being played. Thanks to Terry Fowler and the South Alabama Women's Basketball Program for openly sharing the game and giving us a better understanding of what a game's approach to coaching basketball practice looks like. For more information on game's approach to coaching basketball, Go to basketballimmersion.com today to immerse yourself in stimulating your basketball coaching. Also, please check out the Basketball Podcast with Chris Oliver, available on iTunes, Google Play, and wherever you listen to podcasts, including episode 41 that features Terry Fowler in a discussion about changing to a game's approach to coaching basketball.